How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip. Today, gloomy raining day, but I had to get a shot of this airplane. I promise you guys, I've got a treat for you. Behind me is a Cessna 310Q, but this is no ordinary 310, stay tuned. Now, you know, I haven't done a lot of multi piston engine airplanes on this channel, but the 310, believe it or not, this is, this is one of the most beloved twin engine airplanes in the pilot community, period. Any pilot you talk to, 310 will come up as a twin, but also a good entry level twin. And being, the reason being that the 310 kind of falls in the middle. It's, it's not too light or too heavy but it's kind of like the perfect twin engine airplane you can get your hands on. And a little bit of history, Cessna has been building these since the 1950s. The first one introduced in 54, and they built them all the way to 1980. This one is a 1974 model. And my God, I know we don't have a lot of good light today, but just, just look at the colors on this thing. You've got white, and then you've got some really cool stripes with the black, maroon, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. And as you can see, as I told you, this is no ordinary 310. This one has been revamped, remodeled. Just wait till I show you that interior. Now, as I'm going around it here, you see it is a twin engine. You've got 260 horsepower here, 260 horsepower there. This plane is powered by a Continental 470 engine. And I'll tell you a bit more about the performance and fuel bar, all that good stuff a little bit later. But just looking at the design, you can see you've got this oval looking thing here. Now, generally speaking, when you have a single piston, right, you generally have your, your fuel tanks in the wings, right? And in this, this is also similar, but this is your main fuel tank in this airplane. So you've got 50 gallons here, and you've got another 30, 32 gallons. In total, you have 160 gallons uh, fuel uh, capacity in this airplane. Let me, let me step back for you. Just check out this beauty, man. Again, I'm a, I'm a single piston engine airplane guy, but my God, this thing is stunning. It is a complex aircraft. And one thing you notice, look at that. Do you see that? Everything has been changed out in this airplane. That light, that's all LED. So you've got LEDs there. LEDs also by the wings. It's just, it's beautiful, man. It is stunning. And one thing this airplane also comes with, I'm just going underneath here. You've got wing lockers. Wing lockers. Imagine just throwing more items in here. And guys, honestly, I think even from a pilot's perspective, this is one of the reasons why the 310 is so popular because it's a real practical airplane. And wait till I show you what's on the inside. Let's go around again. Now you've got a door here, which generally will be like a baggage compartment door. And what you'll see before I show you this interior is that you have some owners actually take out two seats in the back and then just turn that entire back space into a baggage room. But to get in the 310, you've got your step up here. You can see real sturdy and you've got two steps, right? And then you've got a handle here. So watch me just go in and you're gonna see Christmas. You're gonna see Christmas. My God, look at this guys. Just, just, take, a, just take a few seconds to appreciate the workmanship in this airplane. I'm gonna turn the camera around and just show you while I shut up. Look at this, completely remodeled, just gorgeous. And so you still have a little bit of baggage room in, all the way in the back, but you can see with this airplane, it's outfitted with six seats, okay? So, so I'm not lying, you see there? Two seats in the back, another two seats here. And one thing you're actually not compromising on is the leg room. There's enough ample space, even all the way in the back. And you can see the seat sizes, 
pretty much the same. So you're not having smaller seats here and there. These are all the same seats. You've got the leg room, both all the way in the back. And also here, you've got armrests, right? So imagine taking a very comfortable ride in this bad boy. Now, let's turn the camera around because this is where I like to be. So I'll talk to you a little bit about this gorgeous new cockpit here. As you can see, you've got pretty much decked out glass Garmin suite here. You've got your backup G5, a G3X Touch, which I'm very familiar with. You've got your GTN 650 for instrument. I actually asked to turn these on so you guys can see just what I'm talking about here. The crisp, man, this thing, you can tell it's brand new. You can just see how crisp the screen is. And as I said, you got flowing from left to right, backup G5, large screen G3X, which is your primary display. You've got two, not one, two GTN 650s here, right? You've got your autopilot, your radios, and here's another cool thing they included. So you know the G3X, it is a touch screen, but if you're not interested in just touching, you can use this as a control panel for that primary display. So it is, man, it's just a neat job that they did in here. So you, you have a 1974 airplane just brought all the way to modern times and you've got an iPad here as a secondary display, but also you've got analog for backup. Uh, just neat, neat job. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so I don't run the batteries down. I think that one of the most important things when you're looking to purchase either your first, second, or third is the cockpit and the cabin space, right? And that's the reason why I do these tests. So you can see again, you've got several seats in the back. I'm sitting in the passenger co-pilot seat here. And guys, I mean, this cabin is probably one of the largest GA cabins I've ever sat in. Look, 510 ton of headroom here. I can't imagine that I'm gonna be bumping shoulders with whoever is sitting next to me. So you've got a wide enough cabin. And if I showed you, this is me sitting. You've got your standard yoke here and your rudder pedals are all the way down. And I can tell you that I have more than enough ample leg room also in the front and these seats are adjustable. So I'm just, it's, I'm smiling because again, I'm not always a huge fan of twin engines, but my God, this one has been completely just tricked out. Beautiful leather interior all black and you've got some diamond pink stitching here just very very well done you've got some uh, interior lights as well both in the front and also in the back now this plane is not pressurized so it is limited in terms of altitude and how you fly it but again this plane is also a great entry level uh, twin engine airplane for cross-country flights. So as I sit here staring at this beautiful panel and, and very comfortable seats, I also think, who is this airplane for, right? This is really a personal aircraft, but you have some people actually use this for training as well. And speaking of training, if you're looking to get your pilot's license, whether it be private pilot, instrument, or your multi-engine rating, make sure you check out my flight school at lookupflightschool.com. We can get you from zero all the way to commercial within a year and that is lookupflightschool.com guys i still have some surprises for you with this airplane because again they decked it out all the way and even added some really cool features on it that you won't get in most 310s this windshield for example is an alcohol windshield so good for icing right the 310 is not certified for icing uh but you've got icing equipment on board you can see right there those are heating for d heist also on the prop i'll show you when we get outside and guys this airplane is for sale i'll tell you more about it All right, while we're out here i mentioned the baggage door earlier you can see this large door here this is also one of the largest i've seen for ga planes again sometimes you can see this also leads to the back uh the third row seat here but you still have all of this to put in anything you want 
Now, I mentioned that some owners actually take these seats out and just have this entire back space as baggage. Again, it really depends on your mission. But you can see everything has been, it's been cleaned out, renewed, revamped. Man, this, this is the sexiest 310 I've ever seen. Now, let me tell you how well it does in flight. I'll go back to the front so I can show you those beautiful twin engines. You've got two, not one, two, 260 horsepower engines. Now with these two engines, imagine you're cruising along at 180 knots, is about the nice, uh, I would say cruise speed for this airplane. And with that, you're gonna be burning 25 gallons total per hour. This plane has a useful load of about 2,000 pounds, so it's a truck. And once you fill up those tanks, again, the capacity is 160 gallons, you've got another thousand, about a thousand, a little bit more than a thousand pounds for your payload, and range 900 to a thousand. So again, depending on how, how much your bladder can take, this is a plane that you can fly for hours. And again, it is twin engine, so make sure you're on your A game. As I mentioned, you look at this trip here, this is the ice equipment. Although this airplane is not certified to just go fly in ice, but just say you're flying along, right? And you get into some icing conditions. Guess what? You've got the equipment on board to get rid of ice, either on your wings. Also, you can see the taper here on the prop as well. And as I mentioned, the windshield. So you've got a fully practical airplane here that can be flown uh, at a very safe attitude now the best part guys this airplane is actually for sale it's like getting a brand new 310 right this one is for sale and if you're interested if you've been in the market for a 310 and you're interested in this one to come take a look at it or to purchase it just shoot me an email at mike at mojogrip.net again that email is mike at mojogrip.net and i will put you in touch with the owner Okay, that is my review for the Cessna 310. This one is a steal, it is just stunning. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also put the notification bell on so you get an update every time we upload. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.